Now here we'll discuss a very interesting problem in coordinate geometry and the problem is we are given an ellipse which is 4x square plus 16y square equals 64 which we can write x square upon 16 plus y square upon 4 and it is equal to 1 and then we have a variable circle whose radius is r which is x square plus y square equals r square. Now it says let this ellipse and circle have common tangent touching at a and b. So here we have a common tangent to this ellipse and circle which touches this ellipse at this point say a and circle at this point b. Now we have to find what is the maximum possible length of ab. Now this question looks exciting because this point a it is going to vary on this ellipse this point b is going to vary on the circle and the radius of the circle itself can vary so basically we are dealing with lot many variables now how do we solve this question we'll write equation of tangent to this ellipse in terms of slope now we know that equation of tangent to this ellipse it can be expressed as y equals mx plus minus under root a square m square plus b square now a square is 16 and b square is 4 so it will be 16 m square plus 4 and we can write equation of tangent to this circle assuming slope to be m so it will be y equals mx plus minus r under root 1 plus m square and since we are talking about this common tangent so these two equations they must represent the same line so here we have y equals mx same. So it means this under root 16 m square plus 4. It must be equal to r into under root of 1 plus m square. Or we can write 16 m square plus 4 will be equal to r square plus r square m square. Now from here we can write m square as 16 minus r square into m square and it will be equal to r square minus 4 or value of m is plus or minus under root of r square minus 4 upon 16 minus r square. So slope of this tangent in terms of radius of the circle will be given by plus minus under root r square minus 4 upon 16 minus r square. Now clearly slope it should be real. So from here we can say r square minus 4 upon 16 minus r square it should be greater than or equal to 0. So from here basically what we will get is value of r square it should be greater than 4 but less than 16. Now we can also include the case where r square is 16 because in that case r will be 4. This circle an ellipse they will touch at vertices of major axis and we'll have a vertical tangent and for the vertical tangent value of m will be infinite so we'll include this also so that means value of r will lie between 2 and 4 now we have to write equation of this tangent now basically from symmetry there will be four such tangents and without loss of generality We'll choose this tangent in the first coordinate. Now for this, x-intercept is positive and y-intercept is positive. So we can write this as y equals mx plus r into under root of 1 plus m square. And we'll take this minus sign here, which will make both the intercept positive. So we can write this as y plus under root of r square minus 4 upon 16 minus r square x will be equal to r into under root of 1 plus m square and m square is r square minus 4 upon 16 minus r square. So it will be y plus under root of r square minus 4 upon 16 minus r square x and it will be this r into under root of 
16 minus r square plus r square minus 4 upon 16 minus r square. Now this r square we cancel. Now 16 minus 4 is 12 and 12 is 2 root 3. So equation of this tangent in the first quadrant will be y plus under root of r square minus 4 upon 16 minus r square x and it is 2 root 3 r upon under root of 16 minus r square. Now what we will do is we will make this intercept as 1. So we can write this as under root of r square minus 4 upon 2 root 3 r into x plus under root of 16 minus r square upon 2 root 3 r y and it is equal to 1 and this is the equation of common tangent to this circle and ellipse in terms of this variable radius r. Now we will find point of tangency on ellipse and circle. Now point on ellipse is a and let a be x1 y1 and we know that equation of tangent to this ellipse at this point x1 y1 will be x x1 upon 16 plus y y1 upon 4 and it is equal to 1. Now we compare it with this equation we will get x1 as 8 under root r square minus 4 upon root 3 r and y1 as 2 under root 16 minus r square upon root 3 r. So coordinate of this point A on ellipse the 8 under root r square minus 4 upon root 3 r and 2 under root 16 minus r square upon root 3 r. Now we write point of contact for this circle. Now on this circle point is b and let this point b be x2 y2. Now equation of tangent will be given by x x2 plus y y2 it is equal to r square which we can also write as x x2 upon r square plus y y2 upon r square and it is equal to 1 and if we compare it with this equation we will get the value of x2 and y2. So from here we can write x2 as r square into this so it will be r under root r square minus 4 upon 2 root 3 and y2 will be r square into this which is r into under root of 16 minus r square upon 2 root 3. So coordinates of this point B they are r under root r square minus 4 upon 2 root 3 and r under root 16 minus r square upon 2 root 3. Now once we have a and b we can write a b using distance formula. So this a b square it will be x2 minus x1 whole square which is 8 by root 3 r into under root of r square minus 4 minus r by 2 root 3 under root of r square minus 4 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square which is 2 upon root 3 r under root of 16 minus r square minus r upon 2 root 3 under root of 16 minus r square whole square. Now this first expression we can take under root r square minus 4 and root 3 common so it will be r square minus 4 by 3 and this is 
8 by r minus r by 2 whole square and here we can take under root 16 minus r square upon root 3 common so it will be 16 minus r square by 3 and this is 2 upon r minus r by 2 whole square so this ab square it will be r square minus 4 by 3 and here it will be 16 minus r square upon 2 r whole square plus 16 minus r square by 3 into 4 minus r square upon 2 r whole square. Now here we can take 16 minus r square and r square minus 4 common. So it will be r square minus 4 into 16 minus r square and we will also take this denominator common which will be 12 r square and then we are left with 16 minus r square and plus here we have taken r square minus 4 common so here it will be r square minus 4 now this r square will cancel 16 minus 4 is 12 12 will also cancel so this a b square it will be r square minus 4 into 16 minus r square upon r square. Now we can write this as 16 r square plus 4 r square. So there will be 20 r square minus r to the power 4 minus 64 upon r square or this ab square it will be 20 minus r to the power 4 plus 64 upon r square. Now this is ab square and it is 20 minus r square plus 64 upon r square. Now we have to find maximum value of ab. We know that r square plus 64 upon r square by 2 is always greater than or equal to their geometric mean and their geometric mean will be under root of r square into 64 by r square which is 8. So this r square plus 64 by r square it is always greater than or equal to 16. Now this value will be maximum if this value is minimum and its minimum value is 16. So its maximum value will be 20 minus 16, 4. So maximum value of AB, it will be simply 2. And that's your option C.